Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. Um, so I'm going to teach you about HTML. Um, it's actually the first language I learned really for programming. And it's awesome because you can make websites pretty easily and it's like the base language for website making. And uh, so yeah, um, HTML actually stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And um, so, yep, yeah, it's pretty cool and stuff. So I'm not going to explain how much like, I mean, about it exactly, but I'll explain how to use it throughout this tutorial and I hope you enjoy so if you and if you have any questions during the tutorial or any of the episodes you can just leave a comment and I'll respond to it and uh, if you want to see something I'll also make a video on it probably just let me know uh, and subscribe to see more so let's get started so um, to get started we're gonna make a folder so new folder HTML tutorial 2018 so that's gonna be our tutorial name here so we'll just leave this here on our desktop. We'll put it right here, right in the center. Oop, can't. Um, so, so what you're gonna need for this is called a basically an IDE or an editor for HTML. You could actually use Notepad to do it, but um, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna, let's open up our browser here. And so we have this, and uh, let's go to example.com, and we have this website here, right? Um, well, well, by the way, we'll go to the IDE later, hold on. And so we have this website here, right? And um, this is just an example website of what HTML is. So if you want to look at the code of a website, look at the HTML of it, right click and then click view page source or do control U, of course. Um, and then so you can see the code of the whole website. And actually this right here, this is CSS, not HTML, so you don't have to worry about that. But everything else is pretty much uh, HTML, which, will be learn which we will be learning about and this is why the page looks like this because of all of this code here. So that's just a snippet of what you uh, can see in a web page that's coded by HTML. So if we look here, we have our doc type HTML that just tells the web page that you're using HTML. That's what it has to look at basically. And the head is what is like the big thingy here. There's uh, oh by the way, each tag is uh, has a closing and opening tag. So here's the opening tag. And the closing tag will have a slash, and we'll get to that later, of course, but yeah. So like I said, ignore this. So the rest of this is just metadata, basically telling the page what it is. And this here um, is the title, as we can look up here. Oh, here. So that's, that's what corresponds with each other. And then inside the bodies where you have where you have all your juicy code, where you have the makeup of the whole web page. So if we look here, this domain is established to be used by the illustrative examples and documents. So if we look here, we can see the same thing. So that's a P tag. The simplest uh, thing you can use basically and so yeah so just an example you know just look at that so if whatever um, so there's many like editors we can use to code HTML you can actually use notepad like I said I think I don't know if I said that but um, you can use any editor on your computer or you can get these advanced editors that tell you or help you type it uh, it'll give you suggestions while you're typing it just, just makes your life way easier so one that I recommend currently that I really like is actually Atom, but we're not going to use it for this. I mean, <laughs> that's just too much. Uh, sorry for blowing on the mic. Uh, <laughs> and so we're going to use something called VS Code, which is amazing. I love it a lot, too. So go to VS Code. Uh, I'll put this link in the description for you. So go ahead and download this and install it. And I'll see you when you've got it started up. All right, guys, so we're inside VS Code right now. Um, if you're wondering why it's red, it's just because I set the theme for it. So if you want to do that yourself and make it look cool, you can go to, where is it? Um, uh, file Preferences, and then go to uh, Color Theme, and then you can choose any of these themes here. So all of these little themes for you. I like the red one because it just looks scary. So um, yeah, so that's how you do that. And uh, so what we're going to do to get started is um, actually install some preferences here. Or just changed a little bit of the code. So go to preferences settings again. Or for, yeah, anyway. So I'll go here. And then um, you're not going to have any of this because I added this uh, before. So don't really worry about this. So what I want you to do is go here and f search autosave. Okay. And then where this is, I want you to copy this. Copy this. Okay and then paste it into here. This won't be here. I mean, the, the curly braces will be here, so just paste it into here, into here, make it look like this, basically. Here. Just have all these gone, but then paste it to, so it looks just like this. So anyway, so yours will look like that. So paste it so it looks like that. And um, so, um, so you have this here, 
Oh, I, pfft, excuse me. I meant to have this one. Just this one is what you should have. I'm a little confused. <laughs> and so um, inside of here, instead of off, I want you to replace it. Don't edit this one. Edit this one. And inside of, inside of here, instead of saying off, I want you to have after delay, just like that. Make sure the D is capitalized. So if you did that correctly, that means that your um, IDE or editor thingy should automatically save a file when you're done typing, basically. And so that could be useful for something that you're about to do right now. So go to extensions, click this here, and then click a uh, live server. And then you'll see it here. You should, and then it'll have an install button. I mean, it doesn't have it for me because I've already done it. So I click install, and then you have an option to reload. So click uh, reload. It'll be like right here. So click reload and it'll be applied. And so the next one we want to do is HTML5 boilerplate. Plate. So install that one too and reload. And then do autosave. That's another one. Oh no, we already have autosave. Excuse me, I'm stupid. So yeah, that's how you do that. And um, so we now we can start coding if you really want to. So um, we're going to go back to our desktop here. And so we can open this file up and then right click and then do open. Or no, well, um, yeah. So there should be an option for you to open with code or you can just uh, go to code and then click, uh, where is it? Open folder. So go ahead and add the folder from your desktop or wherever you put it. Okay, so I've added the folder here. And now we have access to it. So um, if you want to get started, just right click here. Or no, no, no. Click this little thingy here. We can make a new file for ourselves. And just know that every single web page on the internet, well, not every one of them, but most of the basic HTML web pages, they start with the file name index.html. So this is what we're going to name our first web page that you're going to create. Name it index.html. So whenever you go to a website, it'll automatically know that it goes to index. That doesn't really make sense to you probably, but we'll learn about that more later. So just name it that and you'll be good to go. So press enter and then it'll open it up. So we can get rid of this thing if we want to. And so let's just start coding actually. So um, we're not going to get really in depth on this episode, but we're going to show you the basic, uh, the basic layout of a web page for every single web page in HTML. So to start it off, you're going to type this. So we type that out. And then there you go. So uh, this just again tells you the tells the browser the web page that it's going to be an HTML. And that's how it's supposed to read it. So the browser knows how to read it now. So inside of that, we're going to have HTML, and this automatically closes it, which is awesome. And then, and if it doesn't automatically close it, um, just go here and do auto close tags. Search for that one, and then you can add it for, for yourself. And so yeah, so. As we talked about before, every single tag in HTML, not everyone actually, there's actually special tags in HTML that doesn't have to require a closing tag, but um, every tag, most every tag has to close by itself. I mean, it has to close with a closing tag, sorry. And so that's gonna be our main thingy here. So inside of that, we're gonna have a head tag. And so this is just, don't worry about this little error thing, I'm stupid. And so, um, as you can tell, it's kind of creating like a little hierarchy. So the the like the base tags are going to be at the bottom, and then indented inside of this, you're going to have more data and more stuff. So yeah, so it just makes it more neat for the programmer, which is yourself, and you can read things better. So inside of that, we're going to have some data. So we don't worry about that yet. So by the way, if you want to leave a comment in your code, like um, something that you could read for yourself in the browser, it won't mess up your code. The browser won't read it. It won't do anything to your code, it's just for yourself. You can leave a comment by typing uh, this and then say, leave your comment, uh, type whatever you want from here. And then say, I'm gonna put uh, metadata goes here. And then close it off with the double, uh, what's it called, D double dash and then whatever that's called. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. So we can leave a comment for ourselves. And if you wanna leave a multi-line comment, you can do the same thing and then down as many as you want and then in between that all of this text and every code or whatever it won't be applied to your web page basically so um yeah so we'll play around with that more later also so much student html it's beautiful i love html um so so besides the header or, or the head tag excuse me where we have our metadata we're gonna have the body tag or like i said all the juicy stuff goes like our everything that's going to be displayed on our web page so inside of this, we'll have another comment. We could say, juicy content goes here. And close that off. 
So that's where we have our stuff. So this is the basic layout of a web page. Um, so later on, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to fill this up with more uh, metadata, as we saw on the on the example.com. But I mean, as far as this goes, you're pretty much done. All you gotta do is now put in some, put in some code, you know, in the body, and you're good to go. So we're not gonna actually put any code. We're just gonna put some letters so we can say, hello. Yeah, hello world. This is my first. You can type whatever you want, by the way. And so what we're gonna do now is right click and then click open with live server because that's what the uh, extension that we installed. So if we do that, it open this up for us. And so now we're gonna make a split screen view. So drag this to the side here and then it'll do that. And then click here. And then now we have two screens, which is awesome. So now, as you look to the right here, we can see that our web page is displayed. So it's pretty awesome. And we can look at the URL here. And so this is just our IP. Don't worry about this. And uh, whenever you get a web server one day or whatever, or a domain, you can have like onlinereading.org, you know, just a domain name. That's what they are, domain names. And then slash, and then this thing here, that's our file. So that's what it's looking at right now, basically. And so, yeah. so. If we look at this now, we can see that our code or whatever is here. Um, it's just what we typed, so everything in our body is now displayed. So, yeah. So that's the most basic thing you can do in HTML, basically. This doesn't even require tags, although we should be using tags. So we'll learn about more tags, like the header tags, in the next episode. And um, so, yeah. So I'm going to teach you one more thing, actually. It's called the title tag. So if we type title, title, uh, title, you know, opening, title, closing here. Make sure your closing tags have a slash before the ending, you know. So get used to that. And then if you ever wondered how this is displayed like a title, for example, like here, we can make it but with a title tag, basically. I hope that made sense. So we can name this, um, I'm gonna put my name, Cody's web page. Oh, interesting. And so, yeah, so, um, Autosave is turned on, of course, for me. So if it, you don't have it on for some reason, like you couldn't figure it out, just do Control S and then go here, and then the auto server should reload it, or live server should reload it for you. And now it says Cody's web page. So that's really awesome. And so um, yeah, that's how you look at it. Um, so one more thing I want to teach you before I go is if you right click on a web page and click Inspect, that's another way you can look at all the code. So there's a console for JavaScript stuff, which you don't need to know yet. Or at all in this tutorial. I have another tutorial for that if you want to learn how to do JavaScript. Uh, so just uh, subscribe, you know, because I'm awesome. Anyway, and so you can look at the code here, and as you look down, you have your uh, your hierarchy also. So you have your HTML here, your doc type, you know, that's great because it doesn't really matter that much. And uh, so if you open these header tags up, you can now look at them or body. It's really kind of cool. It's like a, and now we look at our comments here. And uh, actually, if we look back and see a comment is not displayed here because it's a comment, it's not when, like it's ignored basically by the by the browser. So um, this was here because of, you know live server it says. So anyway, um, I hope all this made sense for you. I hope I didn't talk too fast or r r ramble on too much. I'm getting the hang of this, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Um, Leave a comment if you need help and subscribe if you want to see more because I'll be dropping a video daily. So peace.